Low and so is a new tool that can change the effectiveness and safety of surgeries. The system works by having a glowing suture that is imaged with an infrared camera. That infrared camera displays the suture to the surgeon and the infrared light allows that suture to be seen through blood and tissue. Current sutures can't be used for this today because they're only visible in the visible spectrum. They're a color we can see with our eyes. But if you're performing surgery, it's quite messy. There will be blood in the surgical field, if you're sewing together tissue, it will fold on itself. And when you have tissue and blood covering a dyed colored suture, you can't see it anymore. By creating a near-infrared suture, the near-infrared light is actually able to penetrate through the blood, it's able to penetrate through the tissue, and it really allows us to always see where those sutures are. Imagine if you need to sew two tubes of intestine together and you are perfect 19 out of 20 stitches, 95% of the time is pretty good, you would pass your test. But in surgery, you mess up on that one stitch, you have a hole, and that is where fluid is going to leak into the patient and cause sepsis and infection and complication. So really the problem we're trying to address is to make sure we don't have these missed stitches. We wanna have nice consistent suturing for every patient and give the surgeons the ability to see where the sutures are that they've already placed and where the best location for the next stitch should go. The Student Initiatives Fund gives us money in order to buy the supplies to develop some of the initial concepts, to figure out what our initial ideas worked, which ones didn't, and to create a working prototype that we can actually use to get additional funding in the future. Without this funding, this project would not have happened. And I can confidently say that because I've had this idea to work on this project for five years, and I just neither had the time nor the amount of money in order to execute some of the ideas we've had. The Glow and Sew project is always evolving. Right now we have a prototype that works with the clinical Da Vinci system. But moving forward, what we want to do is actually start to incorporate the artificial intelligence and machine learning aspect into it, where we can detect with a computer system and software where these sutures are in space and predict the next location of the stitch to make sure we have consistent spacing. There's not always opportunities like this in research settings, especially for students. So to be part of an environment where you have alumni that are able to support student development, you have a university that's really focused on student development, and you have a program that students can take advantage of, this is something that's incredibly unique and I'm very thankful for.